What is going on guys? In this video, we're going to go over the Weeble desktop app because I've had a ton of comments on it on Instagram. So with that being said, let's jump over to the computer and get right into this video. Yo, yo. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Bell third. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Sipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words. I just popped the molly and I think it's be my third. I messed around with people here for a little bit before jumping onto this portion of it. Um, this is kind of like your home base kind of thing. Um, I deleted a lot of the watch list. Um, you can kind of switch over here, it gives you a bunch of key statistics. Sometimes in sales, you can actually buy from over here. I don't know if you can drag and drop kind of things. You can move these around. You got news here, corporate actions. Um, so then you can come over here stocks you can see you can move your watch list around you got my watch list um, This is the one that they actually gave me um, For signing up BIOS. It looks like it's downtrending, but it does look like it could pop out of this today. Who knows? <coughs> it was free, so I'm just holding it for a while who knows um, SPY we got over here. This is a major market index the S&P 500 um, You can see I'm on a five-minute chart here this morning the market's actually, I got about 10 minutes to get this video done, to be honest with you guys. I want to keep it short anyway, but I already got my stuff all planned out on Thinkorswim. Um, the only thing that bothers me compared to it is just kind of the reactionness that you guys can see here. I mean, it's a little slow. It's way, way behind here. Um, for every re for some reason, every now and then, it just like goes way back here. I think may have, I may have clicked that button, to be honest with you. Um, but kind of, I don't know, it just, it feels like E-Trade's option house is who designed this. So I just want to keep going though, just kind of shows you, you guys do can draw, draw trend lines as you can see on the other one. You guys can put indicators in here. I only use VWAP. Um, that's a screen line. I don't like that it doesn't show it in pre-market and aftermarket. That is something that kind of does bug me. Um, you can do hollow candles if you wanted. It's looking like, or just candles. Um, I think I like just candles. You can compare them. You can mess with the settings here. Um, you guys can actually do a lot. And this is really something that's just going to compete with Robinhood. And that's really why I'm doing this video because I have a ton of people that are looking at this. <coughs> <coughs> this, portion of, this portion of it here, I don't think any new traders are going to be using because it's going to look like absolute gibberish to you. You have advanced and Decliners distribution personal products um, the REITs which is a lot of Real estate and things like that um, Grant Cardone talks about those things how REITs how he's gonna sell his stuff to REITs um, You got Tesla. It looks like a lot of just like the big name things here. You got Nike Skechers USA Crocs Decker's outdoors um, Yeah, not a bunch of things. I guess a lot of you guys would be trading to be honest um, here's screeners. You guys can actually mess around with some of this. I haven't really messed around with a lot of it, but you can add some stuff in here. You can add some financial indicators, whether you want dividends and things like that in here. Um, so this is kind of the platform that I thought was kind of cool. This is the portion of it and when it comes down to it. So you guys can see, you guys can kind of drag, drop, mess around with a little bit of things here, move things where you want it to be. This one won't move. I'm not sure why. I kind of got in here and played with it just a little bit before I got on here. Um, but you guys can detach actually. I'll show you guys that. If you guys go to here, you guys can actually come up here and detach the window. So if you guys have a different monitor, you guys can pull that account over. Um, you guys can see my account. I have zero dollars. Um, risk level is very, very safe. I've got all three day trades. Um, it's pretty normal in here. Again, I haven't done anything here uh, something that I thought was really cool that they did very very well here though was the paper trading so you have your actual trading here that's pretty nice here um, again it keeps mounting it up to there I would like to see it a little bit I'd like to be able to see where it's going where it's been here a little bit and then where it's going excuse me and then paper trading is kind of cool too again it comes back to you probably gonna need to mess around with it a little bit here, see what's all going on. Um, 
it's allowing this one, which is really irritating because if there's one that I don't want it to be able to do, it would probably be this one, to be honest with you guys. Um, but if I was if I was going to set this up for me, it would probably look something like this, and I would make this portion of it probably pretty big, something like that. I don't know. I'd probably put news or something down in here. But if we're going to do it like that, um, let's just say spy, for instance, because that's what we've been using. They're already linked. You can see it's got a red one here, red one here, and red one here, just in case you guys want to link different things. Um, we got filled, canceled, failed, all working. Um, so, for instance, we want to buy. I don't know if you can buy actually pre-market. Um, we can try here real fast for the for the sake of the video. Um, we want day. We want extended hours. So let's see if we can just buy it, paper trade it, submit it successfully. Um, it's under working, so it doesn't look like you can actually buy during pre-market, which I think is pretty. I don't know. That's pretty upsetting to me, if you ask me. Well, that may have been because it was a limit order. Let's switch it to a market order. But during pre-market, you have to have it as a limit order. Um, that's something that just in case you guys wanted to know, let's just see if it'll actually let me. Yeah, see, it's still not going to let me here. So if you just cancel the order, guys, it's pretty clean to be honest with you guys on how everything works and how everything moves together. Um, I am really impressed with this, actually. Um, yeah, you only have day in here. So you guys want to sell it's the same portion of it. Again, market order, limit order, whatever you want to do. I have not seen really many portions of the options trading on here. Um, I know that may be something for other people, but U.S. paper trading, paper account here. Again, it gives you just an overview of it here. Orders placed, they're both canceled now. Extended hours is on no on one, but yes on the other. Oh, because it's a market order. So just so you guys know, you guys can't buy pre-market or aftermarket without a limit order here. AAPL is the one that it seems like they're pushing. It is one that does move quite a bit, so I can understand that. But with that being said, guys, this platform is actually pretty clean. You can do a ton of it on here. Um, you have scanners. That's a big jump up from Robinhood. This is something I wouldn't recommend touching if I was a new beginner because you don't want to confuse yourself at all. But being able to watch stocks and have a web-based platform is an absolute must-have once you get to a certain portion of trading and I'm not saying that you're not there yet but for a lot of beginners you don't need this this huge setup I, I mean I, I trade off my phone when I'm on the go and stuff like that um, and, I, and I tell everybody you can trade off your phone because it's the truth you really really can you can set up thinkorswim on your phone um, Webulls actually I downloaded the app on my phone it's actually not bad at all I actually liked it a ton just download it um, just download it on your phone you'll be ready to go but with that being said guys thank you for watching um, I would recommend Webull so far um, there's nothing that I don't think that I wouldn't like about it if you guys want a free stock go on ahead I'll link it below I don't ever do this ever but if you guys actually want a free stock go on ahead sign up use my link below and I'll get a free stock as well. I don't really care. It's not even looking like I have my free stock that they were supposed to give me. So that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys got any comments and want me to go in deeper on any portion of the desktop version here, let me know and I'd be more than happy to go over that. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.